What up, what up, Wimbush here. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can step up and enhance your lighting with this very easy tip. Now I'm inside of UEFN right now. And if I come over here to where we have this little box with the green plus sign that says quickly add the project. If I left click on this and then I come down to lights, I'm gonna come down and add a skylight. Now, if I look over here inside of my outliner on the right hand side and just scroll this up right here under light, you can see that we have a source type. Now, if I select this and move it over to specified cube map, you can see the lighting changed out just a tad bit, but now this is going to give us access to this cube map in which right here where it says none. If I left click on this, we have several HDRs that we can kind of pick from. So if I select this one right here, you can see how the lighting already changed. Let me select a different one there. It changed out to there. So this is an easy way that we could go ahead and enhance the lighting inside of our world. But let's say that you have a custom HDR that you want to add in so you can add your own twist to the lighting. And for this, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite websites, polyhaven.com. If you come up here to the top where we have assets right here under HDRs, this is where we could get a whole bunch of free HDRs to light our scene with. So if you scroll through here, you see we have a whole wide variety of selections, whether it's outdoor or indoor. If you come over here on the left hand side, everything is categorized. So if I click on nature, maybe let's look for something at nighttime like so. Now we have a lot of nighttime shots because that's what my particular map is. It's happening at night. So whenever you're ready to download something, let's say you want this one right here, you just left click on it. Then right here, you want to make sure that you're using 2K. UEFN likes using anything 2K or under. If you try to go 4K, it probably isn't going to work. And then right here, you want to make sure you have it on HDR. You have several options here. You want the HDR one, and then you're just going to click download. And once you have your HDRs downloaded, it's as easy as just dragging and dropping it right into your scene. So I'm going to come down here to my content drawer. I'm just going to dock it here in my panel. And then I'm going to bring over a Windows Explorer where I have two HDRs downloaded. I'm just going to click and drag these into my content browser like so. And now you can see that I have two HDRs in here in which all you have to do is left click, drag it here in the cube map. And you can see the lighting change that it made. I'm going to select this one, drag it over. You can see the difference that it's making there. Let me actually close out my content browser because down here under intensity scale, we can actually raise this up by a lot if you really want to. I just want to exaggerate it or just have it lighted a little bit at like 0.1. Let me bring this maybe up to three and then lighting color. We can always change this as well. So if you wanted to have it like maybe on the bluish side or on the yellow hues, actually, let me come up here in between like blue and purplish somewhere around there. You can definitely see it down here on the ground, but we're actually changing the lighting color with the HDR in there as well. And it's as simple as that. HDRs are an easy way that you could go in and really boost up and enhance the lighting that's going to make your map look separate than anybody else's because it gives a real nice quality lighting to it by not over exaggerating it. So if this helped you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know some tips that you might have. And until next time, stay fresh, keep building, and I'll catch you in the next video. I see you soon. Take care.